Hello, Facebook. Uh, back when I thought that Hillary was going to win the presidency, um, <laughs> I was interested in old, well, basically any any kind of armor, ammunition, guns. You know, if I could get suppressors, I would have been getting suppressors, but. Uh, I was really concerned with Hillary, uh, the potential of a Hillary presidency. Um, so I have some, this, this helmet, this, I think this is supposed to be Kevlar helmet, um, for this, it's Serbian surplus. And I have a, a watermelon here. Let's see, let me get that. What do we got here? Yeah. We got a watermelon that was in the garage. It's no good, but it's good enough to hold a helmet. This is a pol uh, a Polish uh, military surplus helmet. So we're gonna see whether the Polish or the Serbs had better helmets. Put on my ear protection safety first, people. That's why we need to. Okay, let's see how this works. I'm shooting a Ruger SR9. It's a 9mm, 115 grain, full metal jacket. I'm going to put it right on that helmet. Since I don't, since Trump won, I don't need it anymore. Don't. <laughs> Here we go. That was pretty damn close. Holy smokes. Did not go through. Didn't even mark the melon. That's pretty good. Just, just barely left a mark on there. Let's see how the Serbians do. I'm pretty impressed with the Polish. Polish did quite well. Let's see if the, uh, the Serbians can protect the melon. Wow, that did pretty good too. That's excellent. Whoa, it did. Uh, not, it did uh, bulge on the inside. Um, and on the inside of this one, nothing. So it looks like the Polish, whoop, yeah. Looks like the Polish win. Uh, they, looks like they have a better helmet. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not too impressed with the Serbian. Had some damage on the inside. But it still protected the melon. And now, no protection, people. Yep. That did some damage. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this. Catch you later.